Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Total 4 for another episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we, well first of all we're right over here, Bungler's Bay, which is south of Old Smokey. In the last episode we went around getting cool things and uh, starting to do quests and uh, we found out that we had to head out to three separate locations in order to get the stones that we need for the wand for Mornstar. Uh, so right now I'm going to go around getting uh, a whole bunch of just hidden treasures and draw points and stuff like that. Big Babana, yeah. Big Babana, if you remember, was one of the prizes we could have gotten from the uh, Solosseum, which uh, once I level up Dinoceros one or two more levels, I'm gonna go and to completely annihilate the Solosseum. That's just gonna be fun. Uh, anyway, we're... Uh, I'm going to take care of some of the areas around Autumnia now. I'm gonna meet you on the the nowhere uh, the no man uh, uh, nowhere mine, which is above Tahiti there to the north. So yeah, I'm just gonna meet you there. Also, uh, if you remember in the last episode, we bought a uh, upgrade for Tengri. If you press circle, whoosh, just go a little faster. Uh, so it's nice. It's not just an aesthetic thing. It actually does make you go faster, and you already start off pretty fast. I'm pretty sure we're quite a bit faster than the uh, the boat at this point. But uh, the boat still will have uses, don't worry, don't worry. There are going to be areas that you're going to need the boat for. But uh, Tengri, is, Tengri is just better. Also, I didn't really have to cut because we're here already. Uh, so we avoided this area before because it did have powered up uh, enemies. But we shouldn't have a problem here. As you can see, there are six treasures. Also, somebody is following us. Uh... Well, oh no, this guy is actually a. This is actually. The Lumberwood is a very rare enemy that's actually ahead of my team. Huh, should I keep it? Well, let's see if I catch it. Uh, one sec, let me find the, the entries for these guys. Let me find. Okay, no longer mine, excuse me, not the nowhere mine. Lumberwood, 316 health, weak to fire, resist storm. Uh, the Iron Man I think we fought in the past, but it's 316 health also, weak to storm, resist physical. And the Psychophant <laughs> is uh, 328 health, weak to fire, resist water. I just like that Psychophant. It's a Psycho Elephant, but a Sycophant is also somebody who's like a, a butt kisser. This is funny. Uh, let's send out Smasher for these guys. Why not? Psych up. The wild thing. Okay, bad idea. Bad idea, Dovey. Oliver's probably gonna die now, but that's just how it is. Just how it is. Ow. Ow. Okay. Oh, no. Oliver's dead. Okay. Uh, I really thought I could do better against that, but... Oh, well. You know what we should do, then? Run away! Ah, oh, crud. We're all gonna die! At least I got to show you the, uh, the Lumberwood. The Lumberwood is one of those, uh, familiars I was talking about last time. Ah, crud muffin. Uh, the Lumberwood is one of those familiars I told you about last time, where, um... Yes! Uh, where, uh, it just kind of goes nuts. The Lumberwood, I don't think, actually has an attack command. But its defense is something else entirely. It's like, let me see, I have the stats for, for the familiars here. Uh, it also has a 6% rate, uh, rate of... Uh, it's it's kind of like a chancy. <laughs> it has a 6% rate of capture. But its defense starts off at at, uh, at one at like 32 at level one, but at level 10, which is its max level once again, it has 153. And once you get to its uh, final form, its defense, its max defense is 475. Which, I mean, like the Tin Man in its uh, highest defense form goes in the 200s, like the high 200s if you raise it properly. But uh, the lumberwood just keeps going crazy. But once again, it doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have an attack command. Uh, it's it just uses a shield and like patches. So it's interesting. 
Uh, it also, but it's it's more of like a, a defensive tank slash uh, uh, magic user. But let's heal ourselves. And let's avoid the enemies from this point onward. Anyway, over here we get Ruby Ripple Ice Cream. A Ruby Ripple Ice Cream. Uh, and we're going to try to avoid all the rest of the enemies from this point. You can get a Lumberwood, I think, from a, a ticket at one point. I'm not sure, though. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice that you could just look. I believe, yeah, the stone over here. It's really nice that you could just look at the map. Slices of see-through pie. Uh, seek fortune. Oh, I don't have enough MP. That's wonderful. Now we do. Uh, so let's see what else we can get over here. Uh, yeah, let's go up here, I guess. That is also an enemy that we shouldn't be fighting yet. Once again, all these guys are just going to be a bit too powerful for us, but... Uh, I probably shouldn't have led with Dinoceros. That, that was really my fault. Uh, I do want to get this draw point, though. You'd think that that, like, mine entrance down there would be, a uh, would be one of the points. 555 guilders. Okay, run away, run away. At least he's slow. Thank you for being slow, sir. Uh, I believe there's a chest right here, as you can see on the map. I don't even have to go to, like, the main mini-map. Run away, run away, run away. He's just like, now he's in a runaway phase, which is kind of funny. And over here we get Babana Flan. Uh, and then we just have to... Okay, the hull balloon is really fast. Or this is a balloonatic. <laughs> and a dunce do cap. Uh, so the balloonatic is 304 health, no weakness, resist storm. And the dunce cap, 278 health, no weakness, resist storm. Uh, let's see if I can do a little better this time. Yeah, okay, so we just gotta not use the guy that we just got. Although, I do want to get him out here just so that he can- The main problem was that we all got confused last time. Um, but yeah. Uh, so because of- because of Dinoceros' healing rain, because of Dinoceros' one attack speed, he will get one attack per, you know, cycle of selecting it. So you really want to get that thing to, uh, to- to make him faster. Or slightly faster anyway because you're gonna love you're gonna love his attack power as he gets a little stronger but yeah this is going just a little bit better than last time but that's like I said we were confused horrifically confused and we win now thank you for telling me okay Swain levels up along with Tintin not bad. Not bad. And you learn Rolling Stone. Gonna see my picture on the cover. Gonna buy five copies for my mother. Gonna see. We're gonna keep short circuit out though because, it, I mean, yeah, we kind of need that for him at the moment. It's it's better for him right now, which doesn't make any sense, but it is. Gonna see my smiling face on the cover of the Rolling Stone. But anyway, right here. Yeah, the spell wore off, but that doesn't matter. We have Fairy Chocolate, and I believe that was the last one. Uh, but I just want to check out the stone over here. On the cover of the Rolling Stone. I wonder what it says. Yeah, we're going to come back here eventually. Well, let's call Tingri. Um... See, we got everything on Tahiti and the Solitary Island and the Robinson Island, so let's head to Autumnia. I believe we got everything here on Autumnia when we went around all over the place, but it's always good to check. Seek Fortune. I mean, the mainland Autumnia, anyway. Um, there's all the islands and little places in the back. Okay, we missed that right in the center there, so let's go get it. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna fly. I don't know how I just missed some of these are right out in the open, but there you go. And it is... That's not right, it's around. Okay, 400 guilders. 
Uh, so now we are going to head to the island to the right there. And, uh, yeah. I apologize that this isn't the most exciting thing, but, you know, uh, trying to get some of this stuff is really important for, for, uh, you know, completion. And there's going to be, there's going to be a, uh, a bounty up over there at some point. Let's see what we get here. Plainsworth flowers, so useful. But let's, let's head to that island over there, full of enemies that are probably going to kill us. It's probably a good idea to try to heal in between some of these things, but what fun is that, right? Uh, the enemies here, I know, are definitely strong. Uh, do we still have that? Okay, so there are two treasures. One is out over here. Pottle of Pixie Doo. And the other one is up on the other side of the island. So let's walk there because we haven't... We haven't uh, done so yet. Do can we even walk there? Can't even walk there. <laughs> Have to fly like ten feet. It's nice that you can aim around with Tangri and not like, you know, be exact. Uh, let's go get this. Okay, there are the enemies that aforementioned enemies that are probably gonna kill us. But Jade Marble, don't care. Let's see if yes, we can run past him. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh, yeah, just, just. And we get the woodsman's knife. Let's get at it. Get at her. Yes. <laughs> I love doing that so much. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's the immediate surrounding area. Uh, just for the uh, you see this like north, north of Autumnia place. So uh, you know this is the. Um, tombstone trail but over here is actually an area that we can kind of get to that is a town believe it or not all the way up in the mountains here in the middle of nowhere that they will not let you in I believe uh, that is not our next location and you need stuff to do first but yeah the only way to get here is either actually the only way to get there is flying uh, but you can beforehand go over here and uh you know walk up to the top over here there's there's like a stone thingy uh and a draw point and uh the interesting thing about this area is it's where you find uh some of the upgraded versions of people like ponyo or gunther um, it's like some of the uh some of the upgraded characters so it's just interesting also moon crystals they're kind of rare uh, let's see what else we could find here. I think there's a treasure up here. But the area we're in right now is called Billy Goat's Bluff. Instead of Billy Goat Gruff, you know? Get it? You get it? But, uh, yeah, treasure should be behind here. Or somewhere around here. We, we, we saw it before. Oh. oh, it's over here. Okay. Uh, Phoenix Breath. Huh. Wow. I think that restores your whole party. Oh, this is the... This is the, uh... Thing by Perdita. That it told you. Yeah, Perdita's the name of the town. Spoilers. Well, the game really spoiled it for me. Uh, for us, but, um... This is one of the, uh... This is one of the bounties we have to do. Oh, I totally forgot about this thing. Uh, it's a Duel Links. Okay, so this isn't like a unique enemy, this is actually an actual enemy, so it's not gonna have special Ooh. special uh, stats or anything, but it is gonna have some tougher things. I'm actually gonna avoid it for now. Apologies, but I know that right now I'm not strong enough to fight it, especially because I, my characters are literally weakened. Uh, there should be, I think the chest is down here. Here. Uh, there's an enemy that you can run into over here if you are oh, it's down this way. If you're feeling particularly um, adventurous and lucky, there's an enemy you can run into that looks like a little green thing with a staff. Oh god, we're dead. We're so dead right now. Uh, called a Toko Toko. Puss and Bouts, Prohawk, 
Is that a major bird? A, a thunderbird. Okay. We're gonna die. I just would like to let you guys know. But, um, it was nice knowing you. And I'm gonna run away. Let's get out of here! That's what I say. We are not strong enough to fight the enemies here. But if you somehow run to this purple thing with a staff and it doesn't get away from you because it runs like the dickens um, then if you fight it and then kill it before it runs away in the battle it's essentially a meta babble uh, not a medley, the medleys are in that island above uh, the summerlands uh, but the meta babble is uh, it, it, it gives you a bazillion experience uh, I'm actually gonna right now head over here. We could have gone here much earlier, and the enemies aren't that terrible, but, um, yay, Angula. Um, but on this island, you can find the first version of it. The Toko Toko is a, uh, is a second evolution monster. Uh, on this island, which is the Ugly Duckling Island, um, and that's like the Swan Island there, you see the... Uh, you can find the Toko, which is the, uh, you know, the, the first version. I don't know if it has a staff or not. Um, and that also gives you a lot of experience. Obviously not as much as the Toko Toko, but this is like this game's ought to know. If you've played Pokemon Black 2 or White 2, um, it's just... Or, you know what, Blissey is a better, Blissey is definitely a better t uh, term for it. Although it runs away, but yeah, I guess it's a lot easier to equate it to, to a, like a medley or a metababble. This one's the medley. Um, there's a spell that you get later that masks your approach so that these things don't notice you and run away. Because the Toko Toko, the Toko is faster than you. It will run away and you will cry tears of of pain and sorrow. Even more fun is trying to catch the damn thing. That is a that is a, a, a feat that I have not accomplished in my lifetime. Who is this over here? Oh, this is a uh, sprite. Yay! Oh, yeah. So this is Starter Island. Uh, you will find seed sprites, thumbelemers, and drongos. This is the level one characters. Uh, it's actually pretty cool, I I think. Let's see if I can find stats for them. Uh, might be a little bit earlier on over here where we can get the boat. Just give me one moment, but yeah. So you can find the starters here if you want to start over. You know, if you've made if you've gone to like the final uh, uh, metamorphosis and you want to go to the other ones too. But yeah, the Swan Island slash Ugly Duckling Island. Uh, has five creatures on it. The Mite, the Thumbelemur, the Drongo, the Seed Sprite, and the Toko. Uh, so yes, yeah, Seed Sprite, 233 health, weak to fire, resists light. The Thumbelemur, 255 health, no weakness or resistance. And the Drongo, 244 health, weakness, none, resists water. I'm pretty sure I can use my... Dinosaurus on these guys. Oh, he gets two attacks, yay. Um, but yeah, you probably want to kill the Drongo first, generally, just because it, uh, okay, you're just killing me. Um, you probably want to kill the Drongo first because it, uh, it can heal the enemies, or maybe the Thumbelemur because it actually has attacks, but it doesn't really matter. These guys don't have the best recruit rate either, which is funny considering they're the starters, but I guess that also makes sense. They're supposed to be rare. You know, Professor Oak only gives you one. But, hey, we leveled up. Sweet. Um, very nice. Eee! And at level 5, he gets a trick slot. And he learned War Cry. I hate these War Cries. Okay, so... Very nice, very nice. Um, so I'm actually gonna have to spend a minute or two... Oh, that's a draw spell. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna spend a minute or two here fighting enemies. Uh, the, uh... Oh, look at that. It's just it's just a Drongo. Um, the Toko will probably not appear when you're fighting other things. You have to find the sprite on the map. The same with, like, the Dinosaurus and stuff like that. 
Um, yeah. So, uh, and after after I spend a few minutes here being disappointed at not finding what I want, I'm going to meet you by the uh, the bounty on the Swan Island. Okay. We actually caught, we actually uh, got a chance here to tame ourselves a Drongo. I think I know what I'm gonna name it. It's technically, technically a team member, so it's gonna have to be a Miyazaki movie, you know? Okay. Yogurt. Okay, yes, we're gonna keep the Drongo. This one we're gonna be morphing into the other thing. Drongi, Dron Dron, Drono, Drong. But no, the Drongo is like a witch type character, so the Miyazaki movie I'm gonna be naming it after is Kiki's Delivery Service. So this one's gonna be Kiki. I'm sorry, what did I just do? There we go. Kiki. Kiki's a familiar. Yay! Ooh! Yay! Leveled up to six! Okay. Now let's take a look at how much experience he needs to get to level seven. 1,257. Yep! All the people here is like, oh. Yeah, they need various things. Okay, you don't count because you're also special. But. Yeah, so now he's gonna start needing like rap very large amounts of uh, experience. Let's go to this this island over here where our quarry is. I think this is where the mites are. Oh, <gasps> it's a fug! I love the fugs, they're so cute. Um, I don't think there's anything here, but I'll use Seek Fortune anyway. Oh, nope, two things. Okay, I was wrong. Oh, the fug is so adorable. And we get cappuccino, which I'm probably going to just use right away. Ah, wonderful. Okay, Howl leveled up. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a boom -a -foom. I'm used to calling him Howl. And now he can metamorphose. We're going to do that after the fug fight because that's just not a smart thing to do otherwise. And we get two babana flans. Actually, you know what? We never fed anything to you. Let's give you some... You probably want chocolate, don't you? Of course you do. You adorable little creature. Uh, but we are going to have to give you some ice cream also. And some pie! We almost have him up to two there. Let's give him one more piece of pie. Because you really need the accuracy. Oh wow, that was fast. Yay. Uh, anybody else is not two yet? You. I guess I'll feed you something. Uh, what do you like? Give you breeze cake. Why not? It's such a waste, but it's a, it's a high likey thingy. A high likey thingy give you accuracy. I think you like accuracy. Really? That didn't do it for you? Right, you love evasion. That's what it was. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, sorry. We'll get to you guys eventually. You're gonna want to make him, like, be happier. But anyway, let's start healing up, I guess. Use the Tikka Mahala there. Uh, let's give Oliver some coffee. Let's give you a cappuccino. I guess we'll give it to you too. That was such a waste of resources, but I don't care. Let's fight this guy. Take on the Dusty Fig. The Dusty Fug, we HP 2660, weakness storm, resists water. 
So, who has storm attacks? Nobody on my team, really. Uh, let's just get you out there for a hit. And then send you back in. Uh, something to note also, I'm pretty sure the... Uh, uh, Dinoceros has a terrific amount of stamina. Like, he lasts he lasts in battle a really long time. But, uh... Yeah, let's, let's be careful with this guy, because he can poison you, and that's just no fun at all. Let's war cry, why not? Let's just use up all our, our MP. We deserve it. Yeah. All out attack time. So let's see how much this does. 125, very nice. Uh, but yeah, let's just 36, 38, 33. Oliver back out. Uh, okay, I'm being healed, so let's okay, we'll put you out, maybe. Bubble bat. Oh, resist water, what am I doing? Uh, did I? I never gave Drongo storm magic back, which is... Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Uh, healing rain. Let's check this out. I don't think I showed this to you, but yeah. Heals all party members. It costs a nice amount of uh, MP, but it's kind of worth it, isn't it? Uh, let's send you out. Let's psych up. Let's see how many attacks I get with psych up. One, two, three, four. Okay. It doubles the amount of attacks that I normally get, which is pretty nice. That actually did a lot. We go back to all-out attack here. Also, I put everyone out, so we should get a nice amount of experience out of this guy. He has a, he has a lot of he has a lot of health. Uh, provisions. No, I don't want HP. He actually hasn't confused anybody, which I'm perfectly happy about. Oh, right. Phoenix Breath completely heals and revives everyone in your party. Uh, I'm gonna give him back that because I really need to to heal myself. Okay. Here. Get some of those. Let's use Warcry again because why not? Oh, and I'm dead. Okay. Uh, Esther. Use Phoenix Feather. That was a waste of MP. <laughs> also, we I'm pretty sure we just can't lose since we have Tin Man. Like, seriously. But, yeah. You should have just kept using Thunder Spark Lady, but now he's dead. And... This one doesn't look as remorseful as, as the uh, just the regular Fug did, so I'm perfectly fine with killing it. But let's see how much experience we got. 334, not great, but... Eh. Oliver leveled up, which means he's restored in HP and MP, which is nice. But are also leveled up. And the bounty hunt is now complete. Uh, also, that's it for these islands. Unless the Toko wants to appear? Huh? Huh? Come on. I know it's gonna run away from me, but I just wanna show the good people out there what it looks like, at least. But yeah, the Toko is, is, is harder to find than, like, the Dinoceros, Lumberwood, and, like, any Ulks combined. Oh, we'll get to the Ulk eventually, don't worry. <laughs> the Incredible Ulk also. <laughs> I'm pretty that that actually is a thing by the way. Um okay, seed sprites running away from me. But nope. Okay, so in the next episode in the next episode I mean there's those islands. No, we went to those islands, didn't we? Uh the thing in the water is actually a ship that's that's riding around, but in the next episode we are going to 
go to the lower uh, to the to the left side we're going to be going to the west we're gonna pick up the treasures by i'm gonna meet you by skull by the skull uh, mountain and we're gonna pick up all the treasures there fight the enemies and actually show you what they are and uh yeah skull mountain so this has been several Ultimate before with nino kuni wrath of the white witch thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye everybody bye bye